games. Four days after the win over Torquay and Mansfield were in E10. Joey Keith gave Orient the lead. Gary Alexander claimed the 0-second goal after the Stags keeper fumbled a Matt Lockwood free kick. The nearest of touches for the O's number nine. Giles Coke pulled one back for town. But Effie Economi wrapped up the points. and celebrated in style. <laughs> Orient fell behind at Stockport thanks to a well taken Tony Vaughan goal. However, the East Londoners went home with a point after Shane Judas' cross was swept home by who else? Gary Alexander. The O's prolific striker was on target again to open the scoring against Lincoln at home. City almost levelled, but a spectacular Justin Miller clearance preserved Orient's advantage. Lincoln equalised with a volley from Richard Butcher. And only an acrobatic Glyn Garner save prevented the Imps from taking all three points. There was a break from league action as the O's faced League One Yeovil in the LDB Trophy. Orient Chief Martin Ling shuffled his team to give some players a rest and allow others a chance to shine. Christian Roberts sent Orient into the lead. Before the inevitable Gary Alexander strike settled the tie. The long trip to fellow promotion chases Grimsby was settled by Craig Easton's first goal from the club since his summer move from Livingston. The powerful midfielder could have had a second late on. Finished Grimsby Town nil, late Norient one. The Scottish midfielder was on target again the following week as Orient defeated Oxford at the Matchroom Stadium to go to the top of League Two. At the end of October, then. 
Orient on top of League Two and Martin Ling named as the Manager of the Month.